we have with us uh, Mr. Rod Smith, Master of Wine. Uh, please tell us, how did you get into the wine industry? Um, kind of by accident really, my parents weren't particularly into wine, but when I went away to college I got a job for Christmas uh, to, pay, uh, to pay my expenses and it was working in a wine shop and it was run by uh, somebody who was seriously into wine, so uh, that was where the education started and, uh, and it all led from there really. As a master of wine, uh, what is your most memorable wine moment? Uh, well, everyone's got one wine that sort of clicks for them, um, and I was treated to a bottle of uh, uh, a taste of 1979 uh, Vega Sicilia, which is Spain's top wine. And it was that moment, I think, that made me think. Yeah. Uh, what are the merits and disadvantages of, uh, disadvantages of a Master of Wine certification? Uh, well, the benefits are getting invitations to come to wonderful places like Romania and Judge Wine. And the disadvantages are that everyone uh, expects you to always choose the wine in a restaurant and you don't know how much they want to spend. <laughs> uh, what do you most like in a wine? Uh, it's all about balance. You can get cheap wine that's really good and delicious because it's balanced. And you can get expensive wine that doesn't work because it has too much of one thing and not enough of something. It's like cooking. It doesn't have to be elaborate or expensive or big to be good. It needs to have balance. Uh, do you have a motto in your career? A motto? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> Always more learning. Okay. Uh, what is the best wine advice you ever received? Um, well, we're all different. Uh, we all like different things. So I, uh, I think it's, um, it's true of lots of things. It's true of art and music and, uh, and everything else. And that's that uh, taste is subjective. Um, and uh, wisdom is accepting that, that other people don't necessarily like what you like because you like it. We're all different, and that's the beauty of life. Please name some facts about our Romanian wines uh, which may, may surprise us. Uh, I think there's a very good overall quality, uh, uh, but the best thing is an improving quality. Even in the few years since I first encountered Romanian wine, there seems to be, uh, every year, a real development uh, and a move away from the traditional old styles of sugar and softness and too much old oak to fresher, uh, livelier, more commercial wines for export as well as domestic. Is wine becoming less elitist? I hope so, yeah. It certainly is in most markets for sure. Uh, please name three persons you would uh, love to share a bottle of wine with. And please explain why. Oh heavens. <laughs> I wish I'd seen that one before. <laughs> um, well, from a wine point of view, probably um, Emil Peño, the great uh, Bordeaux uh, doyen. Um, from a culture point of view, probably um, the painter Rembrandt. I could speak Dutch because I think he's one of the greatest artists that ever lived. And from an interest point of view, maybe um, uh, Grace Kelly. I think I'd like to have some wine with her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, how come you have decided to move to the south of France? Uh, have you ever lived in London? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the, the weather, the people, the cheese, uh, the wine, the culture, the sea, uh, a whole combination of things. It's a lovely place to live. Uh, please say some words about the Riviera Wine Academy. Uh, well, I moved to France uh, to work for a company selling wine to um, the yachting industry, the very rich super yachts. But after a few years of doing that, uh, I decided to, to branch out on my own because there's a lot of interest in learning about wine. A lot of uh, English speakers and Scandinavians and Americans who live in the south of France. And it's a great place to learn 
and study wine, visit vineyards, and taste and drink. Uh, what was your first reaction when you were invited to be in this jury in Romania? Oh, very, very excited. My first trip to Romania, my first time really? in Transylvania. Um, I've known Mary for a couple of years and I know that she would organize something brilliantly and I've experienced the wines for a few years at other competitions and just exciting to discover new things. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.